Hey boys and girls, today we are going to be continuing to learn about the encyclopedia. Last week we focused a lot on the print encyclopedia and today we're going to focus more on the online encyclopedia. Before I show you that, I want to remind you of our learning standard that we're working on, which is that students will begin to use print and non-print reference materials and recognize their unique features. So we've practiced that with the dictionary, the atlas, the thesaurus, and now we are working on it with the encyclopedia. Remember that last week when we talked about the print encyclopedia, we talked about how print encyclopedias are sold in an entire set. It is a huge collection of books. And part of being able to use a print encyclopedia is knowing which volume you need and how to use it um, to find your topic in ABC order. So the online encyclopedia has um, some tricks to navigate it um, as well. And so I'm going to be showing those to you and we're going to begin practicing practicing that today. So I am going to just remind you how to sign in to WorldBook. Um, and we've practiced these stages uh, lots of times before, but just in case uh, new students are joining us, we are going to go to the main Harlem webpage, harlem122.org. And then we are going to click on this student folder. And we are going to scroll way down to the bottom and click on WorldBook. Our login is Harlem122, H-A-R-L-E-M, 122. And our password that we use is Huskies, H-U-S-K-I-E-S. -E you are going to sign in, okay? And then you are going to click on the balloon. So right now, to make sure that everyone is in the right place, you should have your Ed Puzzle open in a tab at the top. And then you should have World Book open in a tab at the top. And you're going to kind of be going back and forth between the two. Okay. Now, when you get into um, the World Book Encyclopedia, um, you will recognize some of these features at the bottom that we've used. We've used the dictionary in here. Um, we've used the atlas in here. Um, and today we're going to be using the encyclopedia, which is this search bar right here that appears on the main screen. Okay, and I will show you some tricks for how to navigate uh, the encyclopedia portion as we work through. Um, so I hope that you have started to really enjoy using WorldBook. I know a lot of you emailed me um, or commented last week that you really enjoyed using the Atlas, and that was kind of fun looking up um, some of the different questions and places that I had you look up. So I'm really glad that you guys enjoyed that, and I hope you'll really um, get excited about the feature that we're going to see today with the different articles that you can read as well. This is something that you could use to um, work on projects or assignments for your classroom teacher. Um, or just to do some free reading as I know it's kind of hard for you to get library books right now or maybe even visit the public library. So if you're looking for something fun to read on a topic you're interested in, you might be able to find that in here as well, okay? Um, one last thing before we get started. Last week I had a student um, answer one of the questions in the Ed Puzzle by saying that it was too small um, to be able to see. And so again, you are not going to try to answer your questions looking at my screen. You are going to kind of mirror what I'm doing on your own screen. That's why I'm asking you to open up World Book in your own tab so that you can go through each of the questions and look at it on your own screen because I agree it's too small to see it on mine. I'm just showing you how to use the website, okay? So for our first question, um, I'm going to just do this one right along with you. Um, the question is, what what kind of animal is a barracuda? And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in barracuda into this little search box, kind of like Google. Okay. Now notice when I type it in like this, it is going to show up right away and I'm going to be able to click on that. A lot of kids struggle with the World Book Encyclopedia because they want to use it like Google and they want to type in what is a barracuda or what type of animal is a barracuda. If I do this, okay, um, sometimes it will still take me to the article, but sometimes it will say that there are no results. Okay, so it's really important that you just think about what do I want to read about, which is a barracuda, and then you type in just that. 
Okay, so I'm going to click on this and it is going to bring me into an entire article about barracudas. There are videos, so whenever you see these triangles, um, though that means there's a video. I can listen to a sound recording. Um, and of course, there are photographs to go along. Sometimes I can click on some of these tabs at the top to look at even more. So for our question, what type of animal is a barracuda? I'm just going to skim read to find that. So right away it says the barracuda is an ocean fish. Okay, so in Edpuzzle, you are going to type for your answer, an ocean fish. Okay, so I'm not asking you on these questions to read the entire article. We're going to kind of skim read to find just what we need. Our next question is asking us, um, what year was Dr. Seuss born? So I'm going to type in up here in this box, Dr. Seuss. And I am going to click on the article to open up um, the information about him. And I want to show you this because it's going to come up in some of our questions later as well. Um, Dr. Seuss, so it says his name, and then it gives us these parentheses with two different dates. What this is, is it's showing us this is the year that he was born and this is the year that he died. So our question is asking what year was he born? So we're going to type 1904 into our search box, okay? So for these first couple questions, I have given you the answers and kind of showed you um, the steps that you're going to take. Now you're going to have 10 questions to answer on your own, okay? So I have a couple options. I can either just come up here and type in my next topic and then click the search, or if I want, I can click the back button as well. So I'm going to just come right up here in the search box. And the, our next question says, what does measles cause to happen all over your body? So our topic we're going to type in is measles, M-E-A-S-L-E-S. It's going to pop up here for me. So if you watch that, if you're struggling with the typing, sometimes your topic will um, pop up for you right underneath. I'm going to click on that. Okay. And then our answer is going to be found right here in this first sentence. What does it cause? I'm going to highlight that for you. And you're going to type it into our answer box. Question number two. Uh, what is a galleon? Galleon. So I'm going to spell that for you. It's G-A-L-L-E-O-N. So I just want to know what is it, okay? So I'm going to type that in. I'm going to click on the search button, and I'm going to click into the article. And in the first sentence, I can get that answer again. A galleon was, and I'm going to let you take it from there, okay? So you are going to um, read the rest of that sentence and then respond in the answer box. Our next question is, what do eagles eat? So we're gonna be looking at the an uh, animal an eagle, okay? And I'm going to type that in, E-A-G-L-E. -E. And I'm going to click on that article. And then I am going to scroll down. Now, I am specifically looking for what they eat, okay? So I'm skimming through, and I am looking for just specifically what they eat. Um, I am now down in the second paragraph, okay? And I'm going to highlight uh, this portion for you that says eagles feed on a variety of animals. Their prey include, and then you have a whole bunch of choices to pick from. So pick one or two of those answer choices and tell me what do eagles eat in the question box. Our next uh 
article that we need to find is going to be about Abraham Lincoln. Our question says, what year did Abraham Lincoln die after getting shot? So this is the first time that we have looked up a person besides Dr. Seuss. Usually I have better luck typing in the last name first. So I started typing in Lincoln, L-I-N-C-O-L-N, and in the search bar, the drop down bar um, underneath, I can already see his name popping up as one of the choices. So I'm going to click on that. And as I scroll down, I am looking for just what year did he die? Okay, so again, we're finding um, that parentheses with the two dates in it. Remember, the first one is when he was born, and the second one is when he died. So in the search, uh, or sorry, in the answer box, I want you to type in what year did he die? Our next question asks us, what country gave us the Statue of Liberty? I don't know if you knew that before, but the Statue of Liberty was a gift to the United States. So I'm going to type in statue, S-T-A-T-U-E. And World Book is already guessing about what our topic might be. So I can see Statue of Liberty is popping up. I'm going to click on that. And as I scroll down, I am looking for the country that gave it to us as a gift. So I am skim reading. And we are going to find that in the second paragraph. The Statue of Liberty was given to the United States by, and I want you to type that answer in the answer box. All right, we've got three more questions. Next is, what year did the Liberty Bell crack? So we're going to type in Liberty, L-I-B-E-R-T-Y. And again, it is guessing for us what topic we want. So we're going to click on Liberty Bell to find that article. And we are looking for what year the bell cracked. So if I look in the photo right here, I can see a really big crack in that special bell. And I am reading to find out when that happened. Okay, and that is going to be found in this last sentence here in the first paragraph in mm, the bell cracked. So you are going to type in the answer box, what year was that? Okay. We have two more questions to answer today. Our next one is, in what year was George Washington born? So we're going to start typing in Washington. And there are a lot of Washingtons. And so I'm not seeing George show up. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the search. And then I'm going to have to look down in the list until I find one that says George Washington. So sometimes there are a lot of articles uh, about the keyword that you type in. George Washington is way down at the bottom. So I'm going to click on his name. And then I'm going to scroll down. And our question is asking, what year was he born? So again, use those parentheses. First is year he was born. Second is the year he died. So what year did he was he born? Type it in the answer box. All right, our last question for today is how many rooms are in the White House? So if I want to know how many rooms does it have, I'm going to start typing in white, W-H-I-T-E. I still don't see it popping up underneath yet, so I'm going to leave a space, and then I'm going to type in house, H-O-U-S-E, and then it will narrow it down to White House for us. When we get into that article, we are specifically looking for how many rooms it has, and that pops up right away in the second sentence. The White House has mm, rooms. Type that answer in the answer box, okay? So today, um, our activity, we were really just focusing on how to use the um, search box, how to navigate between articles. I didn't really give you a lot of time or questions that asked you to explore any videos or um, read entire articles. And so we're going to do a little bit more of that next time. But for this week, we were just kind of learning how to use the online encyclopedia. So um, I'm going to click back on this word kids. 
And remember by doing that, it will always take me back to the home screen where I can use any of the search features. I can use the um, search bar to look up a topic, okay? And so hopefully you're getting really good at navigating this website because we're gonna still be using it for several more weeks and it is a really great website for you to use for a lot of different purposes. Thanks for tuning in today for how to learn the, uh, how to use the online encyclopedia. I will see you guys again next week.